going on guys it's the coaster battleman here bringing you quite a different type of video here it's another 10 options video for king's island's coaster gaps i could imagine king's island and king's dominion drifting away from the cedar fair company and being their own company i'm sorry there my computer did a little turn off thing on me but okay Kings Island has an awesome coaster collection, and I'm going to say what they have, and then say my 10 options on which coasters will perfect their lineup. These are the roller coasters they already have. Their big three are a B&M Hyper Coaster, a B&M Invert, and a classic drawn-out wooden coaster built by the park. They also have a Vekoma Flying Dutchman, an airtime-filled racing coaster, an aero-suspended coaster, and an indoor launch coaster for their seven best coasters. They have an aero looper of a Coma and Vertigo model, a family launch coaster, a family wooden coaster, a Vekoma suspended coaster, and an aero mine train. They have an awesome coaster collection, but these are which coasters they should get in the future. So my first option is an original RMC coaster. I don't want RMC to touch the beast, because that coaster is really fun, and it's one of the best wooden coasters out there, so the RMC should not touch that coaster, or the racer either, or Woodstock Express because it's too small. So they should just RMC, um, just make an original RMC. It'd be a nice fit for King's Island, and King's Island doesn't have a wooden coaster that goes upside down anymore, ever since Son of Beast lost its inversion and got torn down. Another wooden coaster option is a GCI wooden coaster. These are fun and smooth rides. They have curved drops, awesome airtime. Even though the GCIs aren't meant for airtime, they have some good ejector airtime. It's a fairly intense ride. And overall, GCIs are fun coasters. Another option I see Kings Island doing is an option that everyone wants Kings Island to get in like 2018 or 2019, a Giga Coaster. Kings Island does not have a Giga Coaster, and I think a Giga Coaster will perfect their lineup more than probably any coaster on this list. Pictured here is Leviathan at Candace Wonderland. It could be about a bit taller than Leviathan, but a little shorter than Fury 325, but it would still be a very good fit, and it could be a B&M Giga. My next option is a Stratocoaster. They could counter Cedar Point with it with top and top throw dragsters pictured here. They could counter Cedar Point. These are fun coasters. They have a very fast launch. And you go up at at least 400 feet high and then you drop back down and hit the brakes. These are fun ro roller coasters, but they're pretty short rides. My next option is a B&M wing coaster. There are no wing coasters in K at Kings Island. And Kings Island is not landlocked, so I can imagine them keeping. I can imagine Kings Island expanding as far as they could. To to the point where they have to tear down a coaster, to get a new coaster. A B and M wing coaster would be a great fit for Kings Island. My next option is a B and M floorless coaster. This is Scream at Magic Mountain pictured here, and. B&M Floorless Coasters are always fun. They got fun inversions. They have pretty good drops. And overall, Floorless Coasters are good coasters. Another option is an Intamin Blitz Coaster. Intamin Blitz Coasters are very intense coasters. Like, ver very intense. And I don't think Kings Island has a true, extremely intense coaster. Maybe Banshee or, or the Beast... Maybe, but other than that, they don't really have a extremely intense coaster with insane banks and things like that. And an intimate blitz coaster would give you insane banks, awesome launches, and a crazy ejector airtime, and a few inversions. My second to last option is a Mac Rides Family Coaster. This is the Pandem This is a Pandemonium clone. One of those Gerslar spinning coaster clones. And I can imagine um, 
Mac Rides building a family coaster for Kings Island. I don't know why I put this Gerslauer family coaster, but they could get a Gerslauer family coaster. I don't see why not. They could get like a Eurofighter or any, like any Gerslauer model or any Mac Rides family coaster would be a good fit. And my final option is a B&M dive coaster. These are very fun coasters. They hang you 90 degrees straight down. It could have like two or three inversions. Like with, if, I can imagine it could be like the world's first dive coaster to feature a vertical loop. I can imagine that happening. Like after the drop, there's a vertical loop and then it hits the mid course break run, goes down and then goes through another vertical loop. Or goes through like a zero G roll or something. It'd be a nice fit for Kings Island. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos.